Okay, let's, let's go back to the weapon, uh, weapon shop. One stop, I need your I can't believe You can't believe what? This, this motorcycle is so hard to drive. Uh, like trying to drive a, a toaster. Yeah yeah, flashpoints. I have more important things to do. For example, finding a weapon shop. You know you also kind of forced to do or to get like some clusters that can actually upgrade your stupid abilities. Okay, let's check this. Let's upgrade weapons. Um, the We should also take the RPG, it's like 35k, which I don't have. <laughs> Where is it? They, they made it quite expensive actually. Tough guy, you take less damage by wheeling this weapon. 20k huh. 7k 5k I can't afford anything <laughs> Accuracy is 100. Best. Um, go to the training program. Go to Mind Over Murder. Can I borrow your car? It's like an emergency. Come on, lady, leave the car, please. Welcome 
to Mind Over Murder. The rules are simple. Each scoring area contains a variety of floating rings. The color of the ring denotes the type of object you need to throw it through in order to score a point. Vehicles go through blue, people through green, and the head of our very own Professor Genki through the pink ones. Score a point on every hoop within the time limit, and you win. Good, Good luck. luck. It's murder time, fun time. Yeah, okay, gold, 130 telekinesis. For people, cars and Genki. Welcome to Professor Genki's Mind Over Murder! Brought to you in part by everybody's favorite alien overlord, Sinyak. That's right, folks. The maven of mascot mayhem has teamed up with the conqueror of countless galaxies to create an all-new Genki experience. As folks at home know, by exploiting weaknesses in Zinyak's meticulously crafted simulation, our contestant has gained the power of telekinesis. But they will have to master the power of the mind to complete the challenges ahead of them today. I can now see why the professor was so eager to join forces with Zinyak. This should make for an interesting addition. Move to the target area. Right All you right. are, Bobby. So let's meet our contestant, the winner of Genki Bowl 7, and our favorite contestant, the President of the United States. Or whatever bits are still floating around in space, right, Eight. Zach? <laughs> too soon, Bobby. Too soon. Let's get to the action. Car. So, Bobby, how do you think the addition of superpowers is going to affect the and a submachine gun is a fine weapon. Genki. Nothing. Nothing. Pairs to the unlocked potential of the human animal. Super speed, super jump, and moving things around with the power of your mind. I'm expecting high action and lots of flailing bodies. <laughs> Makes you wish you had superpowers, doesn't it, Bobby? I'm just happy not to be stuck in a fat full of foul smelling nutrient milk, reliving my worst fears for all of eternity. <laughs> you and me both, Bobby. You and me both. Style. Do you imagine Genki and Zinyak flying across the galaxy together, conquering worlds and abducting the biggest badasses each planet has to offer? I got too many enemies. In a super you you fight don't even have the time to shoot and kill right? anyone. Team up an army of Who get have? <laughs> Rocket launchers and RPGs. Jeez, that's yeah. a fine dream, Bobby. But as you know, the world's biggest badass was locked away years ago. True, but we're not allowed to talk about that. <laughs> no, we're not, Bobby. At least points for the first time, not not that bad. No, yeah. If the moves, uh -huh, uh -huh, shake it. Uh, but still, don't know why this is like a main mission, main quest. It's more seems like more like a side activity. She needs to put those away. Okay, so right, like a good it. car. So, how do we use them to get mad? Kinsey, if he can help us find the others, then yes, I yeah, Matt Miller. Wow, well, I just did the proper cipher to connect to Matt's personal simulation, and he opens the gate. Actually, right, let's go get the kid. Then. I don't have any feelings towards uh, Matt Miller, like he was. I don't know. 
like in Central 3 he was already whatever The only character I really like is uh, Kinsey <laughs> and Oleg, which I haven't seen so far in this game, except for the intro. All planned because I wanted this car. I can't believe I have to work a double shift. What? Where's the work? Okay, let's drive to the blue point. Come on, punk. Go oh, fucking away. Hope you learned the lesson, bitch. Unbelievable. I was shocked when the boss picked you to be the vice president, but you ended up working out. That's only vaguely insulting. Look, you sound just like Julius Little. Putting a guy who betrayed you in the number two slot seems like a great way to get killed. I'm nothing like Julius. Kenzie, we're ready. I'm sending Sid the jailbreak. Any last advice? When you're inside Matt's virtual oubliette, there's a decent chance that I'll be focusing on interfacing with the intrusion countermeasures, so pay attention to the console commands. Any last advice I'll understand? Don't get killed. Gotcha. Matt Miller, self-proclaimed hacker guy, ran all the cyber terrorism for the syndicate back in Steelport. Now he's Asha's right-hand man in MI6. Just so we can trust him like she does. He's not again. Yeah, supposed to rescue Matt without a weapon? <laughs> well, you don't have superpowers either. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why the fuck are there giant words in my face? It's a command prompt. Just give me a second. I don't come and Again. No clip. Rub tank. This is my first time at the top down tank rodeo. Kenzie, you gonna fix this or what? I'm trying, but I'm not used to the code they're using. Give me a second. Come on, Kenzie. Um. Just like Johnny taught me. Could it be as simple as 3D? No, 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 Sorry, fever slipped. Finally. There should be three data towers controlling the security to Matt's prison. And I just blow this thing up, right? Well, I wouldn't want you to go outside your comfort zone. I must say, I am amused at this attempt to save a man who tried to kill you once. <laughs> Actually, twice. No, three times. All the same, what is it you hope to accomplish? Mr. Miller is beyond your help. But what do you care if I try? <sighs> Very well. Your futile attempts do entertain me, after all. <laughs> oh, Kinsey's recording this. I feel like they recycled all the stuff from the last game. 
Lots of firepower here, Kinsey. Destroying the tower should destroy the tanks with it. Ms. Kensington is rather astute for it. Okay, let's destroy the tower well, well, so we don't have to fight the tanks. On a linear path. Not very creative for your superior intelligence. Ugh. There you go. That's two. One more to go. Oh, wanted to thank you, by the way, Kinsey. For what? Well, I'm in cyberspace and I haven't been turned into a sex doll or a toilet yet. God, are you still mad about that? I said I was sorry. Something that kind of sticks with you in your nightmares. Hey, better the sex doll than the toilet. Okay, I can destroy the walls. It's good to know. Retreat. Just like Johnny taught me. Shut up, Mr. President. Okay, I can shoot from far away. One, two, three, All right, four, last tower's going down. Oh, I five. don't think it should be that easy. That's cheating. He's made the tower invulnerable. Hang on, I'll find a workaround. He didn't say the magic word. Oh my god. Fake. Uh, like a reference to Jurassic Park. Holy shit, no! Give me my pencil back! Oh, uh, get on... Get on bike. What bike? The bike better has weapons. Nope, no weapons. Though this attempt is as futile as the life of most humans. Oh look, an alien with a superiority complex. Surprising. Though this sentiment comes from more than just the Zid, my dear. Tomorrow, and tomorrow, and tomorrow creeps in this petty pace from day to day. To the last syllable of recorded time. And all our yesterdays have lighted fools the way to dusty death. Out, brief candle. Life's but a walking shadow. A poor player that struts and frets his hour upon the stage. And then is heard no more. It is a tale told by an idiot. Full of sound and fury. Signifying. <laughs> what idiot said that? It's a quote from Macbeth. Yeah, never mind. Oh man, where's the, where's the tower? So there's no shortcut. Like no, no hack. No sheet available. Can you not reverse engineer? Can't see. Okay, let's try not to fall off the map. Without any weapons or a key? Chances are it's not a standard behind bars sort of prison. You'll just have to wing it. Normally you yell at me when I wing it. Oh, and since I can't see what's going on in there, Dad will be able to help you either. You just keep those reassurances. That's nice. Easy. What's going on? Before you, I 
place of choice. Walk through the blue door and continue to face yet more failures at saving those closest to you. Your race will live on borrowed time and will, through your violent arrogance, wind up extinct. Walk through the red door, however, and I will release the humans whom I have collected. I will give them amnesty and even a ship from my fleet to do with as they see fit. However, in choosing this door, you would willingly submit yourself to execution. This is the moment where you can prove to be the savior of humanity or its absolute destroyer. What the hell is all this? This is your life as it led you to this point. All your past violence, crimes, and losses on display to remind you of one simple fact. Regardless of what I have done to your world, you were its greatest threat. The evidence is irrefutable. How many have died because you decided that driving on the sidewalk is faster than the road? Because you used a rocket in place of a bullet? Because you wouldn't submit to my rule? In the end, you only hurt those you are trying to protect. In the end, there is only one truth. The human race would be much safer without you in it. Let's see. Um. Which one was the blue one? The red one was, I believe, I get killed. Is that the red one? The red pill? Uh, excuse me, what? Really? Three missions and uh, the game is done. That's a joke, right? This has to be a joke. I mean, I didn't play any side missions really. But the main missions were, I don't know, short. Like basically just tutorial. It's a joke, right? Please. Okay, let's reload. So, will you choose a path to extinction? Or will you sacrifice yourself as a savior? Ours is not to reason why. Ours is but to do or die. Make your choice. I mean, it doesn't even make sense if the game ends here. What the hell is all this? This is your life as it led you to this point. All your... I don't know. Wait, is that Matt? Trapped in technology he doesn't understand. In a cyber world he can't control. Don't worry, Matt. I'll get you out. Without Miss Kensington. Oh. Very doubtful. Good for the game. <laughs> uh, on the screen, one question is asked. What are you? I'm a slave. Fuck off. I'm awesome. And the leader of the sense. Mm. Text appears on the screen. I'm sorry. Contractions cannot be read by this program. I'm slave. Fuck off. The computer does not fuck off. <laughs> okay, he doesn't like that. I'm telling him that I'm the leader of the sense. Wrong answer. What are you? I'm a slave. Behold my empire. The room melts away, this giving a breathtaking view of the I cosmos. Heard. The planet appears to be a desert world with a radius of uh, 3100 kilometers. 
What do you do? Scan planet, leave planet to walk on the moon, fly towards the purple star. You found something. Launch probe, leave planet to walk on the moon. You found some element, Uno. As you fly towards the star, you, you, you notice all the other stars blinking out of existence. Soon you are all alone in the vastness of space, staring into the corona of the purple star. Ah yes, I'm quite proud of this one. What am I looking at? Terra, as personified by your literary culture. A dead pirate with a black parrot? It's a raven. What is the pirate of a raven? <sighs> The, du the dull sound of a heartbeat fits the room. Thump, 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 thump. Let the parrot touch the pendulum, eat the, eat the heart, drink the wine. As you guzzle down the bottle of ancient and murder wine, you become light-headed and pass out. Wake up. Oh, is this the island that pirate came from? Must you continue to display your plebeian intelligence? Woo! Guess I'm hitting a nerve. I tire of this. Deal with her on your own. Ta-ta. Deal with who? The warm water of the ocean slaps at your face. You sit up and find yourself on a smelt deserted island. Isolated, adrift, uh, alone. Make a raft out of seagull corpses and and K. Make a coconut radio, make a house out of palms, make two martini glasses out of coconuts. We don't have any nets. So we didn't need nets. To your surprise, the seagull corpse uh, raft doesn't hold your weight as well as you had hoped. You must swim back to land. Hmm. What's about the radio? Building the radio was easier than you expected. Syndicated returns and reruns have given you the tools needed to survive. Sadly, you have no place to plug it in. <laughs> I mean, I can just imagine like a radio a show. You cr crudely fashion a pair of cocktail glasses and fill them with coconut milk. Drink the milk. Offer the architect a drink. So well, you offer yourself a drink. Um. But. Hi. Hi. A beautiful domi dominatrix emerged from the only shadow on the island. Let me go, nice outfit. Your mom's a slave. <laughs> Flattery will get you nowhere. The dominatrix bursts into tears. Why are you so mean? I'm sorry, he locked me in the virtual hell, hell hole. Uh, I'm not really sorry. Fine, blame the victim. Yes, I do. Bitch. I never get any visitors. You're the, f you are the first person that shows up and you treat me like that. Or is it like dirt? Um, yes, I do. Because you are scary and I don't trust you. Get a journey out of the virtual hell? Yeah, for myself, I don't know. I mean, seems like there's like a penis behind, not, not a vagina. I'm sorry, you are right. She takes a moment to wipe her eyes with her fear lined leather cuffs. Why are you there? With the rescue Matt Miller? I can't let you do that, but is there anything else I can do for you? Said I wasn't done with him yet. Okay. A penny and Matt Miller is like a slave of her. Then you will have to fight Matt Miller's most feared opponent. Fuck that. <laughs> I want to destroy Sinyak. I mean, fuck Matt Miller. He's annoying as fuck. 
No my god, we need kill bin. Sunny met me up here in the ring. Kilbane laughs. Do you really think a wimp like Matty here can defend me? Matt Miller cow covers a bit. I don't think I can do this. Yeah. Matt Miller weakly not. Alright then. Let's, let's punch Kilbane. I thought he's dead. But then again, we are like in the fucking computer world. I don't think so. Matt Miller dodges fades and Kilbane hits him again. Wrong move, Matt. Kilbane hits Matt Miller hard. Try. Back away. Let's motivate Matt. Um. Matt Miller takes advantage of Kilbane's surprise and punches him again. Kilbane adds, this is impossible. With the mighty swing, Matt Miller's uh, third hit in the row sets Kilbane crashing to the ground, un unconscious. Time to go, Matt. A large ringing device appears before Matt Miller. A coiled wire connects two pieces, and a massive uh, die, not unlike the chamber of a revolver, rests in the center. Yeah, the good old telephone. I don't like the idea of us sitting around. Shouldn't we be picking up Matt? The kid could be in trouble. Keith, you gotta relax. The guy's an MI6 agent, for God's sake. He can take care of himself. You needed help getting out, and you're the commander-in-chief. That's a really good point. Why didn't we think of this earlier? Oh, I did. I'm just not a big fan of Matt. Kenzie! Come on! Can't I get some payback? She's right. He got a little lost. Big deal. Or he got a little dead. Who knows? Oh, he's fine. He's probably having the time of his life exploring Zinyak's ship. Mm, got more naked people. Enjoying uh, Agents of Mayhem. I mean, I heard it's like a, like a different game. Just like the characters of uh, like Sensro. But yeah, it's like has nothing to do with Sensro. 